What if the secret to balancing the force was learning how to share your toys? How you get so big to do both of this kind? The idea that the force is sibling in nature is not something you're likely to hear from a Jedi or a Sith, but I think it might be the key to understanding balance in the force. What you're watching here is part two of a series. If you missed it, here's part one. Please go check it out. I get into the nature of what I think balance of the force means and explain the Mortis trilogy, which is where I'm pulling most of my evidence from. And rather than go through that again, just kind of click on the thing. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that video and then come back to this one and we'll pick right on up. So if you are still here or you're just returning, we're going to go through the Mortis episodes and talk about how the Force, which is made up of two sides, might not actually be enemies, but family. Yes, the son and the daughter that represent the two sides of the Force might be more than just conveniently named. Ah, the planet of Mortis. Or maybe the space station of Mortis? The giant floating holocron of Mortis? Actually, Holocron might be a bad answer, but a good metaphor. It's a place filled with four secrets. Let's talk about the son and the daughter, the dark and the light incarnate. They're siblings, thus they're connected, not by choice, but by their nature. If dark and light were separate things that came together to form a new thing, then maybe they would have been lovers and not family. Instead, we see the dark and the light are inseparately connected, born of the same source. They come from the same thing. They are made of the same stuff. In these Mortis episodes of the Clone Wars, they are constantly fighting, and yet they love each other dearly. I don't know who out there among you has experienced this, but I have a brother, and this is something I can completely relate to. My brother is the single most important person on this earth for me. There is no one I care about more, there's no one I love more, I would do anything for my brother. And sometimes I want to throw him out a window. It's a person who's a part of me, but also a person who drives me up the wall. And this isn't a connection I chose, no matter what decision I make in life. My brother is my brother and we're going to be connected. If I got so mad at him that I wanted to sever that connection, it's not like just choosing not to be friends anymore or, or breaking up or something. I would have to deny a part of myself. He would have to deny a part of himself. It's just something in blood. And that is what we're getting at here. That is what the nature of the dark side and the light side of the Force is. To think of the Force in this way, that the dark side and the light side so desperately need each other and yet their very nature is to be at odds. It's kind of trippy, really. To think of the rise and the fall of Jedi and Sith Orders as knocked over Lego towers crushed in a tantrum over whose turn it is to play with the Legos. It's childish and primal, but it's very, very real. The Force needs the light and the dark side. The light and the dark side come from the same place, and for one to crush or destroy the other would be like crushing or destroying itself. Mortis presents the Force in this new and kind of game-changing way, and yet it does it by connecting with one of the oldest relationships known to mankind. So now let's look at the father. The father is Somehow the Force, but not really the Force. He's just the balance in the Force. It's it's a little vague. He's the source of the light and the dark side. The son and the daughter are who represents the actual power. The father seems to be the one who has power over them. He keeps them in check. He understands their natures. He lets them be themselves, only wanting to get involved when one of them loses their way. He's the balancer, which means he isn't light or dark he exists in some sort of other state. As for what the father is exactly, I'm kind of struggling for words. He's the source of the power, but he doesn't have the power. His kids do, but he has power over the people who have the power. Again, it's just kind of weird. And I think it's also intentionally vague. It's kind of a, well, go ahead and interpret it the way you want to interpret it. And I guess the way I interpret it and the way I kind of make sense of it is, the father really is 
Anakin. The Chosen One prophecy is mentioned left and right in these episodes. Anakin is supposed to be the person who can balance both sides of the Force, who can control both sides of the Force, who can rein them in and cause them to function in the way they're supposed to. Anakin is the one who will bring balance to the Force. He does gain control over the son and the daughter in the first Mortis episode. Anakin also isn't the Force, but he is one who balances it. He isn't the power, but he somehow has power over the power. Anakin also has a son and a daughter. The Force flows from all life. Therefore, the Force needs life. And yet, the Force can affect life. It's a cycle. It's a symbiotic relationship. It's why someone like the Chosen One could be so powerful. So where does this leave us now? I mean, Star Wars is a morality tale. George Lucas has been saying that forever. There is good. There is evil. There is the fall. There is the redemption. So if the dark and the light are siblings, if they need each other, if they're not supposed to fight each other and have someone come out the winner, what does that mean for the story of good versus evil? Well, effectively what it means is the dark side isn't evil and the light side isn't good. We have been falsely attributing the concepts of light and dark with morality, and that's just not how the Force works. And this is something I keep alluding to in a lot of my videos, that the light and the dark have a more objective meaning, and I know I've been talking about it, and I haven't been backing it up, and I haven't been explaining it. So, I am finally going to do that in the next video of this series, which won't be the next video on this channel, but it is coming up soon. So be sure to check in with us. Follow us at Port Haven Forums on Twitter, that way you can stay up to date on what videos we're doing, when our streamcasts are, that sort of thing. Visit it, port-haven.com for our blog site. We have content on there that never makes it to YouTube, and we'd really like you to drop by and see what we're all about there. Please leave something in the comments section. I love talking to you guys. I would love to know what your ideas are about the Force and about balance. It's always great engaging with you. And until next time, keep it real and fly casual. And our cooking can be fun! <laughs>